So you bought a domain name and now you aren't sure what to do next. Whether you plan on building a website immediately or you just wanted to reserve the name for your next big idea, here are five things to do after buying a domain. The first thing to do after buying a domain is to set up URL forwarding or a parking page. After you purchase your domain name, your registrar automatically puts up a parking page for visitors to see. This parking page is essentially a giant ad for the registrar, and sometimes they even put more ads on it that they can monetize and make money off of for every person that visits the page. You may not be ready to create a website yet, but most registrars let you set up URL forwarding for free with just a few clicks. If the domain is associated with you, or any of your current brands, forwarding it to your social media accounts is a great start. If you don't have any social media accounts you want to associate with your domain, you could set up your own parking page with a service like parkingcrew.com and monetize it with ads. This way, when visitors land on the parking page, they will see ads, but at least you're the one making the money from the ads and not your domain registrar. You can also use this page to sell your domain if you just like registering cool domains to resell later. Some domain registrars offer customization of their own parking page, but they're still gonna have their logo and URL on the page, and I'm not a fan of giving any domain registrar free advertising, so that's why I prefer using a third-party service for your parking page or setting up free URL forwarding. The second thing to do after buying a domain name is to ensure whose protection is activated. When you purchase a domain, you're required to provide personal information like your name, physical address, email, and phone number to be listed as the contact responsible for the domain name. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this personal information can be listed in the public Whois database. This means that without Whois protection active, anyone can go to the Whois database, type your domain name, and get all of your personal info. The good news is that virtually every domain registrar offers Whois protection for free, but sometimes you need to manually activate it after your purchase. You can use a tool like who.is to look up your domain name and make sure that Whois protection is active. If it's not, sign into the dashboard at your registrar and look for the option option to enable it. Some TLDs like .us actually don't support Whois protection, but if you ever run into a situation like this, you can use a free service like anonymize.com and list their contact information instead of yours. Whois protection also uses an email alias that includes a special spam filter to weed out the scams and bogus emails trying to get you to transfer your domain to some sketchy registrar. If an email is openly listed in the Whois database, it's not uncommon to get these scare emails claiming that your domain is about about to expire and you need to act immediately to renew it. Only usually you're transferring your domain to another registrar and paying way inflated renewal prices. Or sometimes you may be allowing someone to hijack your domain entirely. So definitely make sure Whois protection is active immediately after buying your domain. Another thing you can take advantage of immediately is that subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be the first to know about new videos. And the third thing to do after buying a domain name is to secure your website. Your domain isn't going to do you any good if your website gets compromised and unfortunately, that's a common reality for many WordPress sites. As much as I love WordPress, there are a lot of security vulnerabilities that pop up. So protecting your site properly is essential to protecting your domain's reputation. If you use WordPress, I would highly recommend the Solid Security Pro plugin. Solid Security Pro is an all-inclusive solution that proactively helps prevent attacks and breaches in real time. It automatically locks out bad actors attempting to breach your site using their brute force protection network. You can also improve your login security by taking advantage of two-factor authentication or passwordless logins with passkeys. And perhaps the most important feature of Solid Security Pro is virtual patching powered by PatchStack. When PatchStack discovers a new vulnerability, your site will automatically be scanned and a temporary patch will be issued until the theme or plugin developer can make a permanent fix in the next update. I've made the mistake of not properly securing my WordPress sites before, and you'd be surprised at how easily they can get hacked and used to put up scam pages, send spam email from your web server, and more. Solid Security Pro was kind enough to sponsor today's video, so be sure to give it a shot on your WordPress site. I'll have it linked below, and you can use promo code CRAILER20 to get 20% off Solid Security Pro.
The fourth thing to do after buying a domain name is to set up Cloudflare DNS. Typically, when you go to utilize your domain name, you'll either modify the DNS records directly at your domain registrar, or you'll point your domain to your web host's name servers. However, using a third-party DNS provider like Cloudflare gives you many advantages, including flexibility. When you use Cloudflare DNS, you have the option of transferring your domain to a new registrar at any time without having to recreate all the DNS records at the new registrar. The DNS DNS is managed by Cloudflare, so if you make the transfer, the name servers stay the same and nothing breaks. Cloudflare DNS routes your traffic through their content delivery network, giving you speed and security benefits over your registrar or web host DNS solution. You might assume that Cloudflare is a paid product, but it's free. They've offered a free plan for many years, and I don't see them getting rid of it anytime soon. Setting up Cloudflare does take some time and you need to have a basic understanding of DNS before using it, so be sure to check out my full tutorial video on getting started with Cloudflare. Now the fifth thing to do after buying a domain name is to set up email hosting. Even if you aren't ready to build a website yet, setting up a custom email address is one of the easiest ways to take advantage of your new domain. You can set up free email forwarding with Cloudflare, or you can set up a free custom email with a dedicated inbox using Skiff. I wouldn't recommend Skiff to everyone. It's got some quirks and limitations since it's a privacy-focused email service, but it is the best free custom email hosting you can find. If you want the reliability of Gmail and you don't mind paying a few bucks a month, Google Workspace is my favorite business email hosting. I use it with my Krayler.media domain and I love having a custom email powered by Gmail. Setting up email hosting is a great way to learn the basics of DNS, get started with Cloudflare, and prepare your domain for a website to be built later on. One honorable mention that didn't make my top five would be to disable auto renew on your domain names. I like to manually renew my domains, but a lot of registrars force auto renew to be enabled when you purchase a domain. You might actually want auto renew enabled as a protection mechanism to make sure you don't accidentally let a domain expire. It's totally personal preference. I keep a close watch on my domain, so I'm not worried about accidentally letting one lapse. And since that's the case, I prefer to manually renew them so my cards aren't randomly charged throughout the year. Thanks again to Solid Security Pro for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to try it out on your website and remember that you can get 20% off with the promo code at the link below. And if you're ready to get started with Cloudflare DNS, I've got a full setup guide that you can check out here.